Cold air is coming to the Gulf Coast. Get ready, it's going to feel like winter. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals. It's going to be about a day and a half or 36 hours of winter weather across the north central Gulf Coast. Temperatures will run about 20 to 25 degrees below average. And we're talking about a freeze situation, not a frost. You'll remember you typically get frost on a calm cold night. But you get a freeze with the wind, and that's what we are going to get. So start thinking about heating your home safely. Make sure you're following the instructions on whatever you're using to heat your home. Check on your people, your pets, and get ready to take care of those tender plants. As cold as it's going to be, it's not the type of cold where most of us need to be concerned about our pipes. Nonetheless, get ready. So our forecast for today, Veterans Day, early in the day, quiet, dry, mild, but the clouds will start getting thicker. Along the coastline, temperatures in the 70s, a little bit milder than average, and then 60s for central Mississippi, central Alabama, No big deal there, but look how temperatures drop off into Arkansas. That is what's on the way. For most of us today, a dry day, although as we move through the afternoon and the clouds get thicker, we'll begin to see a little light rain. Most of it is going to be this evening and then tonight, and look what's happening in northern Mississippi. Those colors, that represents snow into Tennessee, a little sleet and maybe some mixed precipitation. In other words, some rain and sleet in central Mississippi and Alabama. Notice it's on the northern edge of this area of rain, meaning inland communities could see a flake or two, but the odds are very small you're going to see it. Now, temperatures tonight going into Tuesday, not unusually cold, generally 40s and 50s around the Mobile Bay area, 30s for inland counties, but look at tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures stuck in the 40s. It could be lower 40s for most of the north central Gulf Coast, 30s for central Mississippi and northern Alabama. So pick it up there going through the day on Tuesday. Very quickly, the wet weather moves out in the morning. So we're not talking about a freezing rain situation. By evening, we are dry. A cold front goes all the way down to Florida. And then that strong north wind kicks in. And that's why temperatures Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning are going to be near record level across the southeast. At the beaches, you'll be in the 30s, but if you're north of Interstate 10, it's going to be low 30s to upper 20s, and then generally 20s for most of Mississippi and most of Alabama. So that's what you're going to prepare for, the positive news. It's just going to be one really cold night, and then temperatures will begin to moderate. For a detailed forecast, no matter where you live in the United States, go to weather.gov and click on the map and you'll see if there are any advisories or watches or warnings for exactly where you are. Stay updated, stay warm, and stay safe. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.